16th of March, I think it is. Um, I'm going to be working on my dog um, stickers a little bit later because I bought something uh, two days ago. Actually, was it two days ago? It was actually, yeah, it was two days ago. But I have a little bit of a haul to do. So I'm going to do that first before I show you what it is that I got. But um, I ended up picking up some keychain rings off of Amazon. Um, there's 100, 100 pieces in here, so I can make 100 key rings. Um, it's got the two, it's got the brown piece right here. And then it's got um, there's a, another little baggie in there with the, the hoops to make the keychain. So I got that, um, the reason why I got that is because I got some printable shrink film and I'm going to give this a go and uh, print off a few things to see how that turns out. Um, and if this works, I mean these were like $25 a pack, the keychains were like $8 and a six pack of the printable shrink film cost me $25 a pack for six sheets. So um, I'm not going to be able to charge like $2 for a keychain, I'm going to have to charge a little bit more than that. Um, but they will be available on my Etsy store when I get them made. So I've got two packs of those. I'm not 100% sure exactly what kind of keychains I'm going to make yet, but, you know, I'll figure that out in a bit. I picked up some more um, business card things. Um, I don't really have a, a, a business business. It's just a hobby. But it would be nice for um, to have, like, little information cards. I'm not going to call it business cards because I really don't have a business. It's just, like I said, a hobby type thing. Um, and I picked up... Um, a couple of these and these are just little party favor bags but it's good to um, package you know if anyone buys stickers or keychains whatever I can make up a little package type thing so I got these at the dollar store and they were $1.25 a pack the business cards were $11 um, and these were $1.25 a pack so I don't know if I can find any more of this stuff on Amazon but the big thing that I picked up was this thing and I actually got it in purple. Um, I know the lighting is not very good, but as you can see, uh, my top down camera is gone. And the reason why I did that is because I am leaving alone my Friday videos for now, so there's not gonna be any more um, tabletop, um, what do you call it? The face down videos, time lapses. I'm stopping them for a while to see. I'm gonna do some experimenting on my channel. I'll explain all that later, but I did get this thing, look at, the glory of <laughs> this thing opening. Um, so I picked this up at Michael's on Thursday and it was on sale. What is this piece of plastic? Um, it was on sale for $2.99 um, and I sold uh, my old, not old computer, but my other white computer that I have. I sold that and a few other things um, that I wasn't using anymore to be able to purchase it. So I don't have to save up money anymore. Got this and now I can make some sticker packs and sticker sheets and I'm excited to use it. I haven't used it yet. I'm not going to do like a review or anything because, you know, everyone under the sun has one of these things now and so do I. So I don't know if I'm considered a real YouTuber now or not, but <laughs> um, so I'm going to be making some stuff with this thing. So I'm excited about that. The only other thing that I picked up was some envelopes. I picked those up today, but that's wedding stuff. It has nothing to do with... Uh, with selling stuff on Etsy or anything like that. So uh, I've got my computer open here. I'm trying to turn it on, but it doesn't seem to want to work for me. Um, I'm going to be, you can see my reflection. I'm going to be um, watching some YouTube videos and I'm going to work on the dog stickers. And the one of the other things that I purchased was this um, 10 foot cord that's plugged in underneath the desk here with a massive amount of wires but um, I'm not gonna leave it plugged in overnight because it can catch on fire so but it's a lot easier from working you on get my HPV, a virus that can lead to cervical what? cancer and HPV? May never know it. we don't need to know about HPV <laughs> anyway <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen um, it'd be nice for plugging in my um, iPad for when I'm working on something and because it seems like the battery's dying really quick so that'll be That'll be helpful, and um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and get uh, get to work and see if I can't um, maybe get something printed off on this thing tonight. I'm not gonna lean on that too much because I know there's a little bit of a learning curve here. I had to do cut stickers and stuff, so I've already apologized to my fiance for anything that I may say while I'm trying to learn how to use this thing because I have a funny feeling I'm gonna end up pulling my hair out, but. We'll worry about that later. I'm going to go get some things done and I'll check in a little bit later. 
I know it's a little bit annoying to have a lot of voiceovers in the video rather than just, you know, real time video. But the thing is, um, I live in a house with uh, four other people and five animals. So it's really hard to be able to, to sit down and do things in real time all the time. So um, th going forward, there's going to be a little bit of... Um, just voiceovers and stuff in in the video so I hope you guys aren't going to mind that but uh, for those of you who are interested um, this is me using procreate if you don't know I'm sure everyone knows what procreate is by now uh, and this is how I created um, the stickers that I made uh, the dog stickers and um, basically um, I just went in and into um, Pinterest and got a whole bunch of reference uh, pictures and then when I went to color them I brought up one of those reference pictures so I can get the um, different colors of what the dogs are. Uh, it, it's really uh, difficult for me I guess to pick the proper or the right colors in Procreate so the easy thing for me to do was to go and um, copy one of those pictures off on Pinterest and import it into Procreate so I can pick and choose the colors with the uh, the dropper or the picker uh, color picker tool. Uh, I don't know what the right word of it is but that's pretty much what I did and and um, it's not, uh, some people might say that I'm copying the picture, but as you can see, the picture that I'm pulling up here of the pit bull is completely different than the picture that I'm actually working on. So there is a slight difference there. So I'm just using this picture as, uh, you know, to, to pick the colors that I wanted to use. Um, I was going in and I was trying to pick the grays and I was trying to pick the blues and I just couldn't get the right one. So uh, I decided to go ahead and do this and it worked out quite nice. I'm probably going to do it quite a bit in the future. Um, I'm really into working on the animals and everything right now. Uh, I know they're not realistic. They're still cartoony, um, but it's kind of my style. So if you're looking for something realistic, you're not going to get here on my channel. And I really, um, I really enjoy working on this type of illustration where, you know, you kind of have the, the realism is there. You can tell what it is and it has the, um, pretty much the proper, it's not proper anatomy, but you can, you can tell what kind of a dog it is. And, um, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to have like, um, extreme realistic or um I, I don't do that it's not it's not fun for me I mean, it's great if you do it but it's it's not fun for me so um this is the kind of stuff that you're going to be seeing on my channel going forward um i am in the process of working on uh, some more stickers or trying to get some ideas for more stickers so if you guys would like to see something from me um please do let me know uh, it's not always easy to come up with different designs and i'm doing my best to at least come up with one every two weeks i mean if i can get two stickers designs out a month it would be great um, but I would like to be able to do one a week if I could but I know when I start work which is hopefully going to be soon um, that that's not going to happen because I'm not going to have enough time to do that um, but as you guys know um, moving forward from this picture here that I've stopped my Friday videos um, or maybe you haven't known if you're not following me over on Patreon um, or if you're not uh, following me over on Twitter you guys probably wouldn't know that there's not going to be any Friday videos anymore uh, and I wanted to do this because I think my video my channel needs a bit of a change and the um, you know time-lapse videos aren't doing the greatest anymore so I thought that I would try to change it up a little bit and um, going forward yeah I don't know if it's gonna be like a like a, a proper you know never gonna be anymore at all type thing but I know for a little while here I want to be able to change things up see how that goes and just do the studio vlogs on Tuesday not saying that I won't put up another video throughout the week if I'm doing some digital work or whatnot but there's never going to be like a full-on video anymore of just one piece of artwork and I hope you guys are going to like that change because I know that my um, time-lapse videos haven't been getting a whole lot of views lately and I'm kind of thinking that people are getting tired of seeing the same things over and over again because I know I do a lot of things that are the same so I'm hoping that seeing this behind the scenes um, of me more and and doing what I'm doing in these videos and working on different things that my videos will be of more interest to a lot more people and I just wanted to say um, before I stop the voiceover clip here that um, I just want to say welcome to all the new subscribers I know I've gained probably 20 or so more subscribers in the past two weeks so that's greatly appreciated I'm glad you guys decided to hit that subscribe button button um, I gotta use some English here today and I hope you guys are enjoying the content but I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of music here for this next clip and I'll be back with some more real-time footage in just a little bit <laughs>
first attempt, it cut straight through, so I just peeled the stickers off. Um, it cut straight through on this too, but it was I think I made a mistake by not um, printing or selecting the proper materials and the pressure for the, the the knife or the cutter, whatever it is, but these here will be all right to just use for myself. Um, another thing that I noticed as well is that um, it doesn't seem to have printed as nice on the second piece here. There's not as much room. So what I think I need to do is go in and uh, calibrate the machine to make sure that it cuts properly. So I'm going to do that first and see what happens from there. And then I'm going to try to print another set of stickers. But I think that they're, they're cute. I just, I would like to have them in like the full sticker sheet so I can put them in the in the plastic sleeves and sell them as is. If I can't figure out the pressure setting, then maybe I'll just have to cut the whole thing out as individual stickers and make them like I was doing the other ones. But at least I know the machine is working. I just need to figure out um, the easiest way to make the actual stickers. Alright, so I've wasted so much paper and I'm still going over there. I finally, after um, calibrating the machine like 10 times um, and printing, I finally figured out how to not make the um, machine cut through the sticker paper. Um, however, um, I'm still getting ready to do another um, test print here, but all the ones that I've done so far are cutting down on the images too low, so it's not cutting out um, the dog's heads very nicely, so I'm going to try it again. I just did another um, calibration, and it seemed like it printed, or like it cut decently, so I'm just waiting. My printer over there, it takes forever to print, I don't know why. Um, but I'm just waiting on that. I'm going to print it again, and now that I have the backing figured out, I just need to um, figure out what to do with the front here. But this is what they look like, and hopefully if I can get these, the, um, the Cricut to cut it out sensible, um, I'll be able to put them up on the Etsy store sometime, maybe in the next couple of days, hopefully. So I've gone and cut out all of the keychains that I'm planning on making. Um, this, I did like a little print sheet like I had shown and uh, I'm going to shrink these in just a little bit. And I kind of want to keep them all for myself. <laughs> these are the print, this is the, um, like I had shown the printable um, um, shrinky dinks. And I'll admit this is so much nicer. They look so much nicer than the other ones that I had made so I don't think I'm gonna buy any more of the ones that I have to color with the colored pencil and I'm definitely if I sell some of these um, keychains and whatnot if I can make a profit on it then I'm definitely not going to go back to that I did not use the Cricut to cut these out though because I was afraid it was gonna get ruined because I'm still learning how to do it but I got all the dog stickers done and they're all down there I made six packs for now and they're already listed over on Etsy and um, I figured out uh, these are cut out so much nicer. This is like all the little stock things that I'm getting ready for the craft fairs and everything that are coming up. But I do have one more of the lapel pen. Like you can even see like, the difference in the quality. Like this is the one that I colored with uh, colored pencil and this is one that's printed and the printed ones look so much nicer. So um, yeah, that's the plan going forward. But I am gonna break uh, to get some food and then after I'm gonna shrink these and I'm really excited to do so and I'll show you what they look like after I get them all put together. All right, guys, that's it for this week's studio vlog. I hope you enjoyed the little behind the scenes and watching me figure out how to use the, the Cricut. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the uh, comment section. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys will be back again next week for another video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.